Crucible is the latest game that Jeff Bezos has made, which is crazy considering he's so busy delivering all those packages all the time. I don't know how he stays on top of it all, honestly. No wonder the poor guy's going bald from all that stress. Anyway, so Crucible is a PvP slash PV objective based hero shooter. And so you have all your classic archetype characters like uh, Soldier 76 and that one sniper chick with the spider grapple hook. But they have taken a few creative liberties here to make some new character combos and add a few abilities to the classic ones to make them stand out a little bit. Like this Catwoman here, who is basically Tracer, but if Tracer had smoke grenades and x-ray vision to make her overpowered as shit. Which brings me to my first point, which is that the hero balancing in this game is pretty much dog shit. You have heroes here that can pretty much outclass some others in such a significant way that you may as well not even bother taking them on. Like, you can't do shit against the cat as the soldier. She'll just fucking kill you every time, no matter what you do. And you might be thinking, but Funkle, that's pretty normal for a hero shooter. There's gonna be characters whose abilities will counter the other one. And yeah, you'd be right, except here's the thing. You have to pick your character before you actually start matchmaking, and then you're stuck with that character for the duration of the match. So you have absolutely no way of actually knowing what you're going up against before you pick your character, and once you find out who you're going up against, it's already too late for you to be able to pick an appropriate character or coordinate with your team to set up a roster to counter them. Speaking of coordinating with your team, this game has no in-game chat or VoIP, which is fucking weird for a game of this genre. Literally the whole point of this game is to work with your team to accomplish these objectives, except you can't actually talk with your team or give them any call-outs or ask for support or any of that really. And the only viable form of communication is a very poorly emulated version of the ping system from Apex Legends, where you can point out some basic shit to your squad, except here, half the time, it doesn't even actually work, and you end up spotting a place that you weren't even trying to spot, and once your whole squad starts using the ping system at the same time, it just becomes a big mess. There's also some inconsistent performance issues at the game, but it's a new game, so I'm not gonna bash it on that part too much, because that's an issue that almost every game faces when it first comes out. So, does the game have no saving grace? Is it really just a pile of monkey dung? No, and everything works properly, the game is actually not that bad. The game is sprinkled with enough cool and unique moments that almost make up for the whole thing being so frustrating. There's some neat environmental traps that you can set off on your enemies, the PvE elements add an extra layer of things that you gotta do in the game to fill the gaps between capturing objectives and fighting other players, which actually do have a payoff by allowing you to unlock perks using the PvE points that you collect that make you increasingly stronger in combat, and honestly, the actual game mechanics are pretty smooth, and they lend themselves to some really fast space fluid combat which makes for exciting gameplay if it wasn't for the matchmaking being more inconsistent than the amazon delivery times i mean come on jeff so how would i rate this game in general well go ahead and hit subscribe and i'll tell you please i have kids to feed well, like Overall, it's a good concept, but the game really feels pretty unfinished, and in that respect, it reminds me a lot of the cycle. If you're going into Crucible expecting a polished game, then don't, because what you're gonna get is much closer to an early access game or an open alpha test of the game that might end up being good if they add in-game chat, balance the heroes, let you pick your character at the start of the match instead of the main menu, fix the connection issues, and also make it so that idle players get kicked and replaced with new ones. And if they did all of that, then this actually would not be a bad game. But for now, it's a 4 out of 10. And if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and hit subscribe, follow me on Twitch and on Twitter, hit like if you like this video, and comment below your thoughts about The Crucible, if you've played it, if you're gonna play it, if you think friends make it fun, but then again, friends, you can pretty much make any game fun if you play with friends. But go ahead and comment your thoughts below, and I'll try and read every single one of them and get back to as many of them as I can.